we are all aware of the existence of exoplanets. Exoplanets are planets found outside of our solar system. Some appear habitable. Some are so unbelievably hostile that we would not last a single second on their surface. But all of them are strangely unique worlds, waiting to be discovered. During our research, we have encountered some incredibly peculiar celestial bodies. The planet which deserves the first place on the list is J1407b, also known as the Super Saturn. This exoplanet is an enormous gas giant located in the constellation of Centaurus, roughly 433.8 light years away from us. This gas giant is twice the size of our Sun, which is very uncommon for a planet. To make the matters more interesting, its ring system is of an unmatched size. The planet's rings span across 180 kilometers. To put this into perspective, if we were to replace the Saturn's rings with the rings of this enormous gas giant, we would end up seeing a complex ring system covering half of our sky both during the day and night. Not much is known about this planet, but it is believed to be orbiting a star similar to our Sun. Not only that, yet J1407b is the first exoplanet with a formulated ring system that we have ever discovered. Due to the unimaginable size of these mesmerizing rings, scientists have concluded that the gravitational influence of the potential surrounding celestial bodies is non-existent, meaning that the planet is most likely alone, and thus the formation of these gorgeous rings has gone undisturbed. Our research has resulted in countless ways, and whereas we have been able to find some worlds which most definitely spark our curiosity and make us believe that the discovered worlds are habitable, some results have been on the very opposite side of the spectrum. It is much more common for us to find a world that is so hostile that life on them is practically impossible. One would assume that these hostile worlds are rather straightforward, that they either lack an atmosphere, are too hot, or too cold but we have got a bunch of examples to prove those statements wrong. HD 189773b is one of the strangest worlds we have ever come across. It is a blue planet, though its friendly Earth-like blue hue is deceitful. This scorching alien world has the winds traveling at twice the speed of sound, roughly around 2 km per second. To make the matters even worse, it is believed that due to these abnormally high wind speeds and pressure, the planet has raining glass, moving sideways. These rains are often referred to as the rains of terror. Unlike the popular belief, the blue colors of this planet imply its absolutely hellish atmosphere, rather than cold. While observing the night sky, scientists have discovered an exoplanet with striking similarities to Earth. It is allegedly 4.5 billion years old, just like Earth, and its mass and radius are only slightly larger. However, these similarities aside, this mysterious world hides a very important difference, which is its 1.6 Earth day long orbit. This exoplanet orbits much closer to its parent star, a red dwarf, causing the planet, named Gliese 113 to be to experience a much higher surface temperature at around 137 degrees Celsius. Instead of the star stripping this planet's atmosphere away due to its high radiation, this red dwarf, which is around 20% larger than our sun, is creating intense tidal forces, which in return squeeze and stretch the planet. As a result of these powerful activities, the planet has got an exceptionally high volcanic activity, which in return pumps out gases to the world's surface. These gases are building up a second atmosphere, according to NASA scientists, which is something we have never observed before. A planet that close to its home star, instead of being ripped bare due to intense radiation, has two atmospheres. Upsilon Andromeda B is next on our list. It is tidally locked to its star, meaning that it doesn't rotate. One side is constantly exposed to the scorching heat of its home star, while the other is always facing the cold darkness of space. However, Upsilon Andromeda b, previously known as Safar, takes this temperature differentiation to a whole another level, 
which is ultimately what makes it so interesting. A year on this planet takes just under 5 Earth days. The day side of the planet reaches temperatures as high as 1600 degrees Celsius, while the other side, the dark side, has temperatures as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius. This goes to show that passing the hemisphere of this world would be on par with jumping into a volcano. Whereas this planet is by no means the only tidally locked hot Jupiter, the other planets we have discovered thus far have never shown such drastic temperature changes between the two hemispheres. All of the planets meet their demise sooner or later. The cycle of life carries on in space the same way it does on Earth. We have been lucky enough to observe the very last stages of an unfortunate world that goes by the name of WASP 1 to B. It is an exoplanet, roughly the same size as Jupiter. What makes this discovery interesting is that this dying world is almost as hot as the Sun, orbiting very close to its parent star. This close relationship between the planet and the star results in an orbit which takes roughly a day. The planet itself has an elongated shape because it is being torn apart by its star. It is doomed forever, and we have managed to capture its awe inspiring finale. Lurking deep in the depths of space, its hypothetical existence both terrifying and awe-inspiring, Nibiru has been the most mysterious celestial body we have ever come across. Nibiru, also known as Planet 9 or 10 if Pluto is considered a dwarf planet, is a dark planet with an exceptionally long orbit around our Sun, an estimate of around 10,000 to 20,000 years per orbit. Whereas there is no proper evidence that the planet itself exists, it is theorized that Planet X, which is what Nibiru is called by NASA scientists, orbits our Sun because it could explain the unusual orbits of some objects at the edge of our solar system. Additionally, some even search for clues of Nibiru's existence in the history of our species. It is believed that our ancestors were very much aware of Nibiru's existence judging by their accurate mappings of Uranus and Neptune's orbits, which were allegedly affected by Nibiru's gravitational impact. Back in 2012, it was very often mentioned that the world is about to end. Some people didn't believe the news, some joked about them and some panicked. It is worth mentioning that the alleged cataclysm was supposed to be caused by Nibiru's close flyby, which would in return destroy our planet either due to its gravitational influence or a direct head-on collision. As it is easy to infer, neither of the two possible events happened, as we are still alive today. However, the mystery of this planet remains unsolved to this day. We have barely even scratched the surface when it comes to discovering new exoplanets. It is very exciting to think about what we may discover in the distant future. Our journey to find extraterrestrial life has only just begun. <laughs>